hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so in the previous video we have created this uh, dialog uh, level clear dialog to uh, notify the user that level has been cleared now in this dialog we have three stars and we want to uh, give user stars based on the number of coins collected by user so uh, if we have now you can see that we have three uh, coins in the game and if user collects only one coin it means user has collected 33 percent of coins in the game so we will give user one star similarly if user collects two star that means user has collected 66 percent of coins now then we will give it two stars and above 66 we will give three stars now to implement this uh, what you need to do is you need to create a new c sharp script i have created this stars handler script and you need to assign it to any game object in the hierarchy i have assigned it to ui handler now we already have a script ui handler on that game object and we have now assigned stars handler now let's open this stars handler script and i have written some code and i am going to uh, explain it now the first thing we want is to get the reference of all these three stars now you know that they we have three sprites here uh, left star left star one and left star two now uh, by default these three stars will be disabled now there will be no stars uh, uh, by default and uh, in our script we will take reference of these three sprites inside this stars game object array now the next variable is coins count now what this coins count will do it will calculate the start starting count of our coins it means that when we stop play our game this uh, coins count will uh, store the number of counts available in the scene so right now we have three coins so in the start function what we will do we will simply get all the objects who has the coin who has the tag coin so uh, notice that we have used find game objects with s and uh, we will uh, give the tag right here this is the same tag that we have on our coin so you can see we have a coin tag now we will uh, this will return the array of all the game objects who has the uh, tag coin and we are going to take the length of that array and store it into our coins count variable now down below we have another function it is a public void function stars achieved now we will call this function when user has when user clears the level now what this function will do is it will simply calculate the percentage of coins collected by uh, taking the coins left by user in the scene so initially let's say if we have three counts so the coins count will be three now at the end of the game we will uh, again find all the objects who has the tag coin and uh, so by this way we can calculate that how many user how many coins has been collected by user so if the coin count is three and again if we find the game object let's say this returns one so what it means that uh, total coins was uh, the total number of coins was were three and user has uh, left one coin it means user has collected two coins so in the next integer variable coins collected we are simply subtracting the coins left by user from coins count or 
total coins now after that we will create a float percentage variable and uh, we will simply uh, parse the uh, coins collected both integer into float so uh, this is important because otherwise you will get zero percent if you don't uh, parse them into the float now uh, because the float dot parse takes string argument so we will simply convert our integers to string and then parse them into the float type same with our coins count so uh, we are uh, taking uh, the number of coins collected by user and dividing them by total counts and then multiply it by 100 so this will give us percentage now the next step is to uh, consider the cases now the first case is if the percentage is greater than or equal to 33 and less than 66 percent it means the user will only get one star so we are simply setting the uh, first star set active to true now similarly if the percentage is greater than or equal to 66 and less than 70 so then we will give user two stars so we are simply uh, uh, getting the uh, stars from our stars array at 0 and 1 and setting both of them to true now in the third case if this case will execute if the percentage is greater than 70 then we are simply setting all the stars set active to true now the next question is where to call this stars achieved function now we will call this function in our ui handler script so uh, this uh, script is in the this uh, script is on the same game object so ui handler and stars handler both of them are on the ui handler now so in the show level dialog function we will simply get the stars handler component on ui handler game object and we will call stars achieved and that's it now let's play the game and make sure to disable all these three stars and level dialog also now let's play the game <coughs> let us collect one star and drop all the chicken now we will only get one star because we have only completed 33 percent of the level now again let's take two stars and now we should get two stars as you can see now we are getting two stars now we can uh, create some animation on these two stars which we will do in the next video and uh, right now if you see that we have empty space here now we can create a disable star sprite right here so uh, to notify the user that uh, we have three stars but you have only earned two stars now we will do this in the next video and that's it for this video if you like the video please hit the like button